I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. A senior Forest Service official from India is awaiting a Pike County court hearing. On charges, he sexually attacked an employee of a hotel in Westfall Township. 52-year-old Surendra Mohaptra was charged with indecent assault and false imprisonment after police say he asked a female employee at the Hampton Inn to come to his room to help him with an internet connection. She told police that Mohaptra made unwanted sexual advances and held her against her will until she was able to escape. Mohaptra is not expected to be granted diplomatic immunity. He is scheduled to appear in Pike County Court later this month. Saying it's time to move Sullivan County forward, County Legislator Jonathan Ruiz uh, wants his colleagues to start the process of moving Sullivan County to a county executive form of government. During a news conference in Monticello this morning, Ruiz said the current government structure has hampered the ability to make meaningful change and that legislative members have become bogged down with personal agendas. Ruiz wants a charter review commission formed to determine how best to implement a county executive government. And he wants current uh, county manager David Fanslow given a two-year contract to ensure management continuity. Under Ruiz's proposal, the county executive question would be on the ballot in November of 2014. County executive could then take office in January of 2015. And Ruiz says he has no personal interest in the position. Despite criticism of her job performance, Terry Bernardo was able to get the votes needed to retain her chairmanship of the Ulster County Legislature. Bernardo, a Republican, was elected chairman last year by a 20-2 vote. This time around, uh, she got 13 votes, beating back a challenge from Democrat legislator Dave Donaldson. Bernardo took heat for several of her decisions made during the past year, including the appointment of a legislative attorney from Orange County and the hiring of a budget analyst without a financial background. Classes were disrupted for about an hour and a half this morning at Port Jervis High School and the adjoining Cool Elementary School after a down transformer on nearby Kingston Avenue triggered a power surge at the Route 209 school complex that burned out uh, several motors in the high school boiler room. Uh, leading to a smoky condition in some parts of the building. Students were initially evacuated at around 8 a.m., but because of the extreme cold, were later brought back inside to safe zones within the school, while fire department personnel cleared the smoke from the building. It's getting down to the wire for three local Catholic elementary schools that could be forced to close at the end of this uh, current school year. Officials with Sacred Heart in Newburgh, St. Mary of the Snow in Saugerties, and St. Joseph School in Kingston are submitting proposals next week to the Archdiocese in hopes they'll be allowed to remain open. Late last year, the Archdiocese labeled 26 schools in their 10-county region as at risk because of declining enrollments and rising costs. Once their appeals are filed, final decisions on which schools close and which ones stay open are expected to uh, be made later this month. Shoppers weren't the only ones busy this past holiday season. New York State Police were busy, writing more than 33,000 traffic tickets and arresting more than 500 people for DWI during their statewide campaign called Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over. That from December 14th through January 1st. In the Troop F area that includes Orange, Sullivan, and Ulster counties, there were more than 3,900 tickets written, 99 drivers arrested for DWI during that period, and three fatal accidents. And they were seeing double at Orange Regional Medical Center on New Year's Day. The first births of the new year at uh, the town of Wallkill Medical Facility were twins. Babies Cleavon, 5 pounds, 7 ounces, and Victoria, 6 pounds, 1 ounce. They arrived early Tuesday afternoon. The proud parents are Cleavon and Jamel Betterton of Middletown. The hospital's birthing center nurse director, Cindy Chapman, says the staff always looks forward to the arrival of the New Year baby. This year brought double the joy. Cold temperatures will stay with us for the next couple of days, but sunny skies will also stay with us. Friday will be mostly sunny and cold, with temperatures not expected to climb any higher than the mid-30s. More sun in the forecast for Saturday, with the highs in the 30 to 35 degree range. 
Make a record online your source for breaking news and weather information and stay connected to all that's happening by reading the Times Herald record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.